the hell? Let's let's do this again. I kind of like doing it. So it's first. I gotta put on the AC. Okay, first we'll let my battery go up. Come on, come on. There you go. Come on. There you go. Now I can turn you down. Which is weird. On that, it's just. It's just really slow to do it, and that's part of the mechanism issues out there. A restricting boot. Oh. So now the nurses. From uh, fifth floor. Speaking of fifth floor, since I just mentioned it because I saw the nurse and it was the nurse that was doing it. There was this really, really, really tall dude. He kind of had to walk with his head at an incline, just slightly, because he was almost rubbing his head on the ceiling. He had to like completely duck to get underneath the doorways. And he was really tall, so he was really tall. And I kind of would just, just stared at him kind of dumbfounded. And a couple of the nurses saw me and that was one of the nurses that saw me and it was kind of funny. Woo! And I understand you're pregnant and all, but you gotta do, walk in the middle of the street. Come on. I've seen all kinds of nurses I saw a day. But that's kind of, it kind of fits. We all pretty much have very similar schedules. I see the same nurses every day when I work. And I like that. I like that I'm actually, you know, they're starting to an issue today, but not even going to go into that one. I want to talk about the power outage that happened on Thursday. Apparently, somebody not with West Star hit a line or something, and it caused a good chunk of this area to lose power. Yeah! Including the hospital. hospital, thankfully, has, like, amazingly good size generators, apparently. Because elevators were running and everything like that were running, but we didn't have. Okay, hang on, I gotta cross traffic. I'm gonna take the highway home tonight. But we didn't have, we had elevators. We had, they could run the machines and all that for all the people, like their machines, obviously. But we didn't have. AC and it was hot. I mean, it was humid as hell because we were getting storms. I mean, that's what at first I thought it was. It's like, God, did the storm already hit and we lost power or something? But there, that wasn't what it was because. But it went out about 6. The kitchen closes about 6 30. Patients can, they were still kind of ordering. So they were ordering like sandwiches and we were able to make like sandwiches and things diet office was having to call the line and let them know what was being ordered so that at least that worked out in that situation but so we couldn't serve them any of the hot food even though the power had just gone out they couldn't serve it because they didn't know what the temps were the temps could, could drop pretty fast in the kitchen so just safe being safe so that's what's but oh my god, it was it was kind of it was kind of scary. I am terrified of elevators and enclosed spaces like that, and I was scared they were gonna go collapsing. And they didn't. It didn't help that you could hear because you didn't have any of the real big. They didn't have the AC running, so the big fans were running to at least keep air circulating throughout that area. So oh my god, it's something like the uh, elevators were gonna collapse. They didn't, obviously. Obviously, I'm still alive and all of that, but this is what's been. Let's see how tomorrow goes. Oh, actually, I don't have to worry about tomorrow. I don't work tomorrow. I'll probably hear something from Jamie, though. They're talking about, like, today, they're talking about overflow parts and shit. I'm like, uh, like no one told me. It's like there you can 
I'm sure, like, how lacking all of this, the tr- some of lacking some of the training is. And then, yeah, they got me trying to training. Got, they have me training somebody. And it's like, I've only been here a month, and I can have me training somebody. And warning, it's going to get a little bumpy. The screen might be, the video might go, because the roads in this freaking city are atrocious. The road condition on this road is terrible. We have a permanent sales tax increase that's supposed to fix this crap, but nothing's been done. And here comes the bad news. I'm in right now. Oh, I hate it. Because my truck, like, wiggly. It was like the back end is being pulled out from under it. I hate this. I mean, it probably wouldn't be so bad if I had, like, decent uh, shocks and stuff. But this is ridiculous. This is absolute... The condition of these roads is absolutely ridiculous. Oy. And driving on this change basically is what it is sucks and I'm like looking at some of these roads that are people doing and like city skylines and sim city and all of that stuff and it's like completely different and it's like I'd love to be able to make those kind of turns but that's not gonna happen let's continue the turn without killing myself because then you're merging on a freaking bridge. That's me going over the turn thing because I'm trying not to crazy off the road. We merge on a freaking bridge. It's crazy. You merge on a bridge going highway speeds. And I don't like it. It's the reason I don't use it. I don't like taking this way home. Then again, going to work, you split on the bridge on the two exits that turn into on ramps it's like that's insane that's the very definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again but I'd rather I usually what I usually do is I take one way to work which is splitting and then because I don't have to cross traffic. It's a direct turn in. It's a right hand turn. Obviously living in the States, everything. That kind of So I do that and then go home. I usually take to be a boulevard because it's also a right hand turn. Leaving the parking garage.
roundabouts I have to do. I have to do the Topeka Boulevard roundabout. I have to do the Rochester roundabout. Then I have to do the 46th Street roundabout. So many damn roundabouts. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Oh, I'm ready for tomorrow. Is it my phone moving? No. Oh, is my keys rubbing? I think. Is my keys rubbing? I hope so. There's something moved in my truck that wasn't supposed to. Oh, Who knows? Man, we were supposed to get rain. Put your shirt on. Oh, nobody wants to see you with no shirt. That's another thing. A lot of guys can get away with wearing out without wearing their shirts and they can run around outside and they're boxers or itty bitty things and get away with it. Women get in trouble for body shamed. It could be the fattest, earliest, nastiest looking dude. Can wear a speedo. Women will get fat shamed. No matter what. I'm somebody's gonna say I know somebody's gonna say something about my bikini, so. Oh my god, why is your ass always hanging out of the vehicle? The parking lot. Lazy. Hopefully this wasn't too long. Bye.